Hello everyone, so you have taken your drone out for a spin and have taken some nice footages and if you are wondering how to turn your drone or camera videos from these raw files in your SD card into a nice video montage then this video is for you. I'm going to make this video a bit more generic so that this workflow is applicable to video footages taken from drones, DSLR or even smartphone camera. In my past videos, I've been using Adobe Premiere Pro but for this tutorial, I'll teach you how to use iMovie which is essentially a free software that comes with your Mac OS to make video editing. So let's get straight into it and if you find this video useful, please click on the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm going to have more tutorials coming up and if there's something you'd like me to cover, just let me know in the comment section. In this tutorial, there's going to be 7 sections according to my usual workflow. First, I'll show how to get started by creating a new project. And then I'll go through the rest of the workflow from ways to import media, basic video and audio editing functions, how to add titles and subtitles in your video, and some color grading or color correction techniques available in iMovie. Last but not least, I'll show how to export the completed project as a media file or direct to social media sites such as YouTube or Facebook. Once you launch iMovie, this is the first screen you will see in the iMovie. You can either select an existing project or create a new project. For now, I've already created a new project and I've called this Holiday 2018, so let's go into it. Before we start, we'll just do a quick overview of the interface you see on iMovie. The top bar lets you toggle between different workspaces. You can toggle between viewing all your media files or other workspaces that allow you to select the audio files, create titles, backgrounds, and transitions. At the bottom section, this is where you insert the video and audio files into a timeline, and then you can view the preview on the right-hand column. Now let's bring some video and audio files into the iMovie workspace. There's a couple of ways to do it. You can either import using the down arrow button at the top or you can go to file and then import. This will bring you to the same page. We can now select the files that we want to import into our media library. I'll just choose the two files that I see here and then import. Besides these two videos, we can actually drag and drop an audio file into the media library. So these are the two video and one, mid one audio files that I've imported into the project. So now that we have all the files we need inside the media library, we are all set to add them into the timeline. I usually start with the audio track that I want to use and then just to try to orientate myself with the beats of the music. So this will actually help us locate the parts of the soundtrack where we want to introduce transitions for the video. I'll just play back the video and then add markers according to the beats of the music. So to add a marker, you can simply use M as your shortcut key in the keyboard. So now let's go ahead to play back the music and uh, we'll just add markers along the way. Right, so for this demonstration, I'll just uh, fast forward and we'll just do the markers for part of the audio. You may not want the audio to be too loud, especially if you want to add a voiceover to the media clip. Now you can do this by simply adjusting the bar on the soundtrack and then the volume will be adjusted. Next, you may want to add a voiceover to your media clip and uh, to do that, simply go to Windows, voiceover, or you can press V on your keyboard, so that's the shortcut key for voiceover. 
So with that, we are more or less done with the audio. So let us go ahead to move the video into the sequence. So before we do that, you first want to trim the video files to extract the key clips that you want to show in the video. You can actually do this by dragging the yellow bar to the part where you want the video to start from and then pull the other yellow bar to the part where we want to end the clip. And once this is done, we can actually drag this uh, extracted version into the timeline. Now we can also try to match the video transitions to the marker we created uh, before this. In the timeline, we can make further refinements to trim the clips by dragging either ends of the video. You may also want the video clips to play a little faster or slower. To do this, you can select the clip that you want to change, go to this clock icon and you can select the desired speed that you want. For this, let's try custom settings and uh, we'll just key in maybe 200% for the speed of this clip. So you can actually try to play around with this to match the video to the markers of the audio. I've moved more clips to the sequence and have matched them to the tempo of the soundtrack. And now we are almost all set with the video. But before you complete this project, you may want to do some color correction or color grading to the video to make the colors pop up even more. There are a few ways to do it. First, there are the preset filters that you can use. But personally, I find that the colors are too extreme. So unless you are looking at such effects, I would recommend doing the color grading manually. The next tool that we can use is the color balance. By the way, there's also auto enhance button that we can use for quick enhancements of the colors within the video. The results are pretty good, but personally I'll play around with the other settings to get even better effects with the color. The white balance tool is used to correct any unrealistic color casts. We'll use the eyedropper to select the portion of the video that is true white and then iMovie will automatically correct the whole clip to keep the footages as natural as possible. Next, let's explore what we can do with the color correction tab. The good thing about iMovie is that the settings are pretty much intuitive. You can just mouse over to show what each slider does. For example, the first slider adjusts the shadow. This makes the darker area appear from lighter to darker. Then we have the contrast slider to bring out the color highlights. In the middle, we can actually control the brightness of the footages and at the right side of the slider bar, we can control the highlights. So this actually controls the brightness of the brighter areas. Over on the right, you can control the saturation and the color temperature. Yeah, just move the slider to the left for a more cooler bluish look or to the right for a warmer reddish look. But bear in mind that there's no correct settings for color correction. And my suggestion is to just play around with each of these settings and to find a level that matches the effect that you want for your video. So after you have enhanced your color, you may want to add some titles and captions to your video. I'll just add a title to the start of the video to tell the audience what this video is about. And in your footages, you may also want to add subtitles to describe what each scene is about. Or if you are adding voiceover, you can actually translate the speech in different languages under the subtitles. And as you can see, there are a number of templates that you can choose for the title, so you can just choose one that fits your needs. And now that we have covered all the basic features for editing your drone and camera videos using iMovie, you are all set to export the video into a file or have it uploaded directly to social media. To do that, you can either click on File Share or you can choose the Upload icon on the top right hand side. Remember to select the video quality settings. So for this video, I'm choosing 1080p HD and then I'll choose the best video quality and then uh, I'll choose a better quality over compression for the compression speed. With that, I've come to the end of this short tutorial to help you create a video montage using iMovie. If you find this useful, please like the video and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to leave any comments if you have any.